he doesn't he doesn't remember owning a droid yeah oh. Of course. But there we go. <laughs> <So> who knows? <laughs> oh, they will cut that joke out. Alright, welcome everyone. You join us as we don our best 80s tweed suits and become tenor executives once. We should get tweed suits, don't you think? No. Oh, when well, we become tenor <laughs> executives once again to release our 96 from the prequels had they been released first. Um, we've now completed the first five waves, which has seen us finish both The Phantom Menace and Attack of the Clones. Go back and watch those if you have no idea what this is all about. Um, but today we move on to Revenge of the Sith, arguably the best in the trilogy. Um, this is going to be released in three waves also. Uh, first wave will be figures 51 to 60, second wave will be 61 to 70, and the third wave will take us up to 79 to leave us a lovely last 17. Yeah. But let's focus on this wave. This is wave Well, I think, I think before we start, Adam, I think we should probably... Um, show at the top the figures that you've chosen so far, and yep. along the bottom. No, they're going. They're going along. Don't worry. Okay, okay, just check. <laughs> you just can't see them at this point. Okay. Um, <laughs> let's. Uh, yeah, we're focusing on this wave. This is wave six, so fifty-one to sixty. As always, Martin goes first. Take it away, Martin. Okay, so my first pick um, for Revenge of the Sith number fifty-one is Obi Wan Kenobi. Um, um, from Mustafar, so obviously Obi Wan wears the same oh, okay. um, Jedi um, outfit, if you like, the entire film. But yeah. I kind of like, I kind of, I think I would sort of have the burn marks that he has while he's fighting Anakin um, in the lava yep. on it to um, so sort of so kind of vary card it from back the choice. Yeah, yeah, but also figure. I think I'd have that sort of somehow shown in the figure um, okay. with a cloth cape, maybe with with little holes in to represent the lava burns because. I think we've had an Obi Wan every every single. Obviously, we would do for every single movie so far. Yeah. Um, so just to slightly differ it a little bit, um, I'd probably I'd probably go for something like that. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Fair enough. Yep. <laughs> um, Fifty one for me is Anakin Skywalker. Like you said, we've gone through this whole thing, and there's been a very variation of all of them. Um, but Anakin changes the most, of course. Uh, mm -hmm. He's not even the same actor in the first film. Um. And this one, he's got luscious long hair, well, <laughs> flowing hair. So that's what it's I'm going to go yeah. with. Yeah. What were you going to yeah. say? Yeah, I was going to say, well, they they um, they gave him the 70s mullet in this film. So it would kind of tie closer to the okay. original trilogy. And I think okay. you'll notice that some of the actors' sort of haircuts in this film are kind of shaped slightly 70s so that um, you can see some hmm. sort of... Because obviously at the time they weren't planning on doing Rogue One and all that, but yeah, uh, you know this sure. was meant to be sort of the step before. So yeah, it's a good choice. Um, um, number fifty-two from. Oh, sorry, just, just so I just whilst I whilst we're on it uh, f for this Anakin, it's going to be from the earlier part of the film. We'll get okay. to that. <laughs> okay. okay, right. Um, okay, that, that's confused me a little bit, but I'll, I'll let Carry it go. Yep. Um, number fifty-two, Anakin Skywalker, Jedi Knight. Um, in his black slash brown leather, I can't really work it out. Um, yeah, outfit yeah. Um, that he wears the entire film. Um, yeah. So, so yeah, I'm, that's the same same as you, kind of number. 52. Yeah, no, that's and, that's the same. Yep, that's, okay. that's right. right. Fair enough. Yeah, Jedi Knight is what <laughs> I was should have put, but I didn't write that. Okay. Um, I was making my notes quite quickly. So, <laughs> uh, fifty two for me is Obi Wan, of course, Obi Wan Kenobi. Um, I'm not going to go with the Mustafa battle, though. Mm -hmm. I'm just going to go for an updated Obi Wan Kenobi figure. Okay. Earlier point in the film. Yeah, but you're right. Yeah. He does essentially wear the same thing throughout. Yeah, it's the same same outfit. Yeah. yeah. Um, okay. Cool. Uh, number fifty three. Um, I've always wanted this figure in in the modern vintage day vintage collection. Sorry. Um, and it's number 53, Darth Sidious, which we do have in the vintage collection. Mm. But I'd really like to see him in that red cloak that he wears in the film. Oh, okay. 
Um, so kind of more um, Palpatine than Sidious, if that makes uh, sense. Well, no, he, he he does wear that red cloak when he's fighting. Um, well, it's more of a red sort of um, outfit when he's fighting Mace Windu. Mace, um, yeah. Yeah, and I'm sure he wears the red cloak a bit later. Uh, he puts his Sith robe on over the top of it at j- just before he orders Order 66. So, um, yeah, so that, that one um, would be really cool because it's difficult with him because we've obviously picked Darth Sidious. Well, I picked Darth Sidious from The Phantom Menace. Yeah. And to be fair, there's not a huge difference between Darth Sidious in The Phantom Menace and Darth Sidious in Revenge mm. of the Sith, obviously, except for the face scarring. Yeah. Um, yes. But... Wearing a cloak, you would notice that. So I thought the red cloak would make a, a nice different figure with the face obviously being burnt up. So, yeah, Fair that enough. was number 53. Yeah. Okay, 53 for me is General General Grievous. Nice. Uh, not much you need to go into of this. He's really only got one look, but probably, you know, with the cloak on. Not yeah. the point where he takes that off. Keep that on, but show off all the arms and the mm. um, lightsabers. Yep. Nice yep. accessories. Couple Obviously, a lot of these are going to be in the vintage collection, I think, but mm. at this point. So, yeah. Yeah. Interesting to know how they would do General Grievous in an old 80s mm. Kenner figure. But, um, yeah, I have to think about that. Um, okay. Number 54 for me is a. 501st clone trooper so they're the um obviously the clone troopers who are darth vader's battalion or anakin skywalker's battalion of um clone troopers and they're the ones with the blue face um, uh, okay not face paint but mask paint if you like who mm-hmm. um attack the jedi temple um so another clone variant for us to add for army building yeah yeah when when we get to certain clones i might need to <laughs> I might need you to verify which ones they are. So, oh god, okay. point, but we'll, I'll try. Yeah. But yeah, <laughs> yes. Uh, what did I? Say? Where are I? Fifty-four. Darth Sidious, after his face gets all mangled up, we'll go with that. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Did you did you do Darth Sidious for any of the other films? No, I've done. Okay. Um, yeah, I've done him as oh, Palpatine. Just, I think. Yeah, you did him as Senator Palpatine, didn't you? Senator, yeah, I remember. Yeah. Okay, cool. That's it. Uh, yep. no, the number 55, um, before I tell you what it is, um, obviously the original Kenner collection, they had three R2-D2s and two C-3PO's. Uh, yeah. This is the 96. There are actually four R2-D2s, um, but there was three considered in the 96. Um, so this time around, I found it really difficult to repeat that with the prequels because I, I can't find a situation where I can add R2 for the Revenge, the Revenge of the Sith. But C-3PO, I've decided for the prequels, is going to get the three figures and R2 stay at the two. So number oh, okay. 55, C-3PO, but gold C-3PO because we've had no yep. uh, no casing C-3PO. We've had grey C-3PO. So finally we get gold um, okay. C-3PO for Revenge of the Sith. Okay, fair enough. Cool. Yeah. Yep. All right. Uh, 55 for me is Massa Meda. So oh, I've yeah. just had Darth Sidious, so I'm bringing in yeah. his one of his cronies. Um, you obviously brought him in last uh, last time out, or yeah. in yeah. Attack of the Clones at some point. Yeah. So I figured I'd get him in here now. Yeah, that's a good choice. Um, he's yeah. a good looking character. So yeah. Yeah. So, yeah. Yeah. Uh, number fifty six for me is General Grievous. Um, you know, as I said, you've already had him. I know, but as I said, I, I'm really interested to know how um, you know an '80s toy manufacturer would try and do that. I don't know. Perhaps they yeah. could uh, slot the arms in like you do with C three PO in the removable limbs. Yeah, three um, PO. Yeah. But uh, it's the same yeah. conundrum we had for Dex. Dex to yeah. Jester. Did you know, didn't um, they? I, I I can't remember, but did they um, announce General Grievous in that six pack um, uh, retro collection that they're bringing out? We talked about a couple of weeks ago in the video. I, I think, think they are, aren't they? Oh so, yeah, I think he was. Yes, yeah, so we might we might soon see what one see, of them. Yeah. yeah, that'd be really interesting. Yeah, okay. Yeah. Cool. Well, there you go. Yeah. yeah. Um, where are we? Fifty six. Right. This is one of the clones that you might need to help me out with. The <laughs> on Kashyyyk, the clone scout troopers. Green ones, yeah. ATPT. Um, bear with me two seconds. Yes, the ATRTs. Yep, <laughs> <laughs> yep, ATRT, like you said. Yeah, yeah, um, 
RT. Okay. Yeah. Um, They're the ones with the little two-legged walkers. Those ones. Yeah. 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 Okay. The, the ones the that green, are hunting the green outfits. Yeah. Yeah. All in the green. Oh, well, yeah. Green. I mean, yeah. I can't, they're Yoda's battalion, but I, I don't know what numbered battalion they are. They're all green, but uh, okay. they did bring out in the modern vintage collection an ATRT troop. Yeah. I didn't realize that they'd done that in the old, in the in the vintage collection, that one. So, yeah. yeah. It's good, good looking clone, though. I quite like that. Yeah. They are cool. Yeah. 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 Uh, number 57, I have gone for the Magna Guard, which is obviously General hmm. Grievous's bodyguards. Um, again, they've already done this in the modern vintage collection, yes. but it's, it's a bit of a rare one, character. isn't it? It is quite rare. Well, yeah, kind of. Well, I think Unpunched, it's quite, quite rare. A valuable um, one, yeah. Yeah. Um, but um, yeah, the Magna Guard is, you know, it, it would look quite cool. It's a tall, tall figure, a bit like IG 88 sort of would, yeah. would look, I guess, in, in the old style. But uh, yeah, so yeah. number 57, yeah, Magna Guard. True, yeah. Mm, cool weapon mm. with it as well, yeah. 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 Um, 57 then i've gone commander cody yeah yeah i don't know uh, i don't know his troop but yeah we need to get somebody sort of overseeing the troops don't we yeah so he'd be obi-wan's battalion and i i'm gonna guess it's the 312th or 13th um battalion but someone will correct me in the um comments if i'm wrong so uh, yeah (laughs) Uh, good knowledge so if, that, if that's right if, that's good knowledge 58, 58. yeah okay so 58 i've gone for chewbacca um nice easy one for hasbro okay. to do because they've already done it yeah. <laughs> he looks pretty yeah. much exactly the same as he does in the original trilogy so uh even played by the same actor so um you yep. know i think uh that's a nice easy one for them to mold and uh and make so yeah number 58 chewbacca that's um, interesting. 58 for me, I've just gone for a Wookiee. Now, I wasn't sure whether to put Chewbacca or whether to just generalize the Wookiees and have them all made the same, you know, as an army, if you like. Yeah. Um, so I didn't I didn't put a name to them. I, I, think, sure. I think you should probably... I'm far be it from me to sort of, you know, change your mind, but remember what we've said in the past where you just bring out a named character and then you could just use them several times as a... That's as true. an army builder, yeah. yeah, yeah. Maybe I'll just go with Chewbacca, Chewbacca as well. <laughs> we'll see. Yeah. <laughs> Was that your number fifty-eight as well? That's fifty-eight for me. Yeah. Okay. Cool. Yeah. Um, so, number fifty-nine is Tion Medon. Now he is um, a new Utapawan. He's the head Utapawan. Um, yeah. And he obviously is the one who chats with Obi Wan, and uh, you know he tells so him they're being warriors. Yeah. Yeah, get your warriors ready, um, Obi Wan tells him. Now he's mm-hmm. played by, I want to say Bruce Spence, but I don't know if I'm 100% right now. I'm saying that he was in Mad Max and he played the mouth of Sauron in uh, The Return of the King in the deleted scenes or the okay. extended cut. Um, I think it's Bruce Spence. Someone again will correct me as they often do it. Um, if See, it this, is him, why yeah. I, this is why I don't go into too much detail because you know, <laughs> I can't stand being um, corrected. I'm just trying to fill out time a little bit, that's all. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, fine. We're doing good. We're doing fine. Yeah. Okay. Cool, um, cool. That was 59, wasn't it? Yeah, so 59 yep. for me is your number 57. I've gone with a, a Grievous Guard because I don't know if they're actually known as a Magna Guard in the film. But Grievous no. Guard, Magna Guard. Yeah. I mean, I'll put Magna Guard on the card because uh, you've said it and it just saves me a bit of time, doesn't it? Yeah. It's on a vintage <laughs> card already. So just and use it is that on as a your vintage card. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. And yeah, like you said, really cool looking looking droid type thing. Yeah, definitely. A droid? Definitely. I'm assuming it is a droid. Yes. Yeah, yeah, it's definitely a droid. Yeah. yeah. Um, yeah. So is it, is it number sixty next? Yes, number sixty. Final so one for the episode. Yeah, I have gone for Commander Cody, um, who you've already um, mentioned. But uh, I think um, he was always going to be in there, wasn't he? I mean, he, he he doesn't have a huge speaking role, but he's quite a pivotal character in one of the scenes. So I think um, mm. you know he has to go in there really. And if you want to sort of replay battles and have obi-wan commanding the clones again you can just buy lots of commander cody's and uh yeah you know army builder yeah. of him so um yeah number six so you, you, you say he doesn't have a lot of um a lot of lines in the film and yeah in the grand scheme of things he doesn't but in terms of the um the actor oh god 
Come on. Tamora Morrison. Thank you, Tamora Morrison. Yeah. <laughs> he gets a few <laughs> lines in there, doesn't he? Yeah, he does, yeah. He gets yeah. a few deaths That's true. in there as well. Yeah. That's true. Yeah. Um, yeah. I suppose we could always argue that um, he's probably had got one of the largest speaking roles in the Clone Wars. Um, yeah. So, you know, perhaps we should add the Clone Wars in at some point. <laughs> he doesn't do the voice of the clones in the Clone Wars, does he? No, he doesn't do the um no, no, the clone. Some... no. no. Okay, so um, this takes us up to number 60 for me then. Yeah. That's your last uh, one. You said a, a moment ago about uh, not finding enough R2-D2 <laughs> types. Yeah. <laughs> well, I've found one. I'm going to go with R2-D2 accessories. <laughs> so in the uh, one of the earlier scenes in the film, he's in there and he's got things coming out of his dome and things coming out of his front. I'm going to attempt to make that r2d2 as okay. one of mine so, uh, the one where he gets zapped and it, like everything flies out yeah yeah so yeah, okay yeah, i think yeah an accessories r2d2 i just couldn't really figure out what the name would be for it so i've gone for accessories r2 oh sorry yeah he yes i remember it's on the general grievous's bridge isn't it and he, and he causes a yeah. distraction doesn't he by um yes yeah. right yeah and then um anakin pulls the lightsabers from grievous's cloak yeah yeah that's, a, that's actually a really good idea um yeah because i suppose um i suppose there was always the option as well because a lot of the characters get quite filthy in in this film because obviously the battles that they're in and the places True, they are yeah. you could just dirty up some of the original dirty figures R2 that we've already picked yeah. and just yeah so you could actually add you could actually put a dirty r2 with the accessories if you wanted to um yeah. I, I, anyway sorry i might keep but that that's, for myself that's, <laughs> well yeah <laughs> yeah so yeah. there's there's my third r2 that's a good one. um and i think in, was it the last episode that we did? You mentioned R four P seventeen. Yes. In yeah, it Attack might have been clones. one of the earlier Attack of the Clones. But yeah, um, you said you weren't sure if he made it into this film. Well, that's he, the thing. He did, I, didn't I, he? But his dome oh. gets ripped off by the buzz droids in the beginning. Yeah, you see, I'm not entirely a hundred percent. I should have looked into it, but I wasn't entirely a hundred percent sure if it was the same R four because. Um, he seems to uh, that R four seemed to get captured by the Genosians, and I, I don't well, know how he would. Well, ah. uh, well, there is a Revenge of the Sith carded R four G P seventeen. Yeah, I oh, will. They must be right then. Um, yeah. So I'm assuming that he made yeah. it made it through um, yeah. until the Buzz Droids got him, and then you see yeah. at one point you see the gold R two G nine. I think okay, the yeah, gold yeah. dome yeah. one. With yeah. um with Obi Wan, yeah, and then we don't see that one again. So that's the one we need to question the future of now. Yeah, he doesn't he doesn't remember owning a droid. Oh, of course. But there we go. Yeah. <laughs> so who knows? <laughs> oh, they will cut that joke out. Yeah. <laughs> God. Nice, cool. So yeah, that's it. That's Wave Six. I mean, I should really have lettered the waves like they did it originally. But um, mm. we didn't think that far ahead, so no, it's so just, you've, a bit just fun. you've just got it how it is. Um, yeah. Hope you enjoyed that one. Anyway, uh, if you did, make sure you like and subscribe, and come back next week for Wave Seven, um, where I'm sure we'll go into a few more unusual characters. I was going to say it's going to have to start getting obscure. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> cool. Cheers, guys. Cool. Cheers, mate.